I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And this is our friend Dan joining us for Hi, some Dan. three player games today. And today we're going to check out Fantasy Realms with the Cursed Horde expansion. Right. So from WizKids. Yeah. Yep. Plays from. That's so small. I don't even know. Three to six, three, three to five, to three six. something. Three I knew to... we needed three. It's so small. <laughs> I think it's so, a six. Three to six. This, this game's been it's out a while, fast. but there's a new printing of it, and they decided to do an expansion with it. So we're going to check out the couple different modules that are included inside this expansion box. That's right. So, so. Um, a lot of people have compared Red Rising to this game. That's true. And so... And uh, and for we, a change of pace, the comparisons are kind of fair. They, yeah. <laughs> they actually make good sense. <laughs> Um, a sure. lot of the same mechanisms that you find in Red Rising, you will also find in Fantasy Realms. Um, it does not have the little token majority things on the different tracks. No, or it the, will just end. It's just, less elaborate than Red Rising. And much Correct. faster. Much faster. Yep. So, uh, if, but if you like Red Rising, you will probably like this as well, I think. So, yes. we have to deal every player seven cards, Steph. Yeah. Uh, do we the cursed horde? How many? How many do, do we start off with? One cursed item, correct? And yes. we also we also deal everybody eight cards. Okay. Oh, because of the cursed horde expansion. <laughs> yes. Well, all right. So there's two parts of the expansion. Are we explaining the base game rules, or just assuming everybody knows it? No, we're, we'll also explain the base no, game rules. No, this yes. is okay. There's two parts to the cursed horde, cursed horde expansion. One is that you add this whole de separate deck of cursed items, which everybody's going to get one face up. It's not part of the hand. And the other is that there's three new suits of cards, uh, buildings and undead and something else, um, which get added. And then you also replace some cards. So, for example, don't ever close this box. You can't ever open it. <laughs> um, True story. Yeah. Buildings, uh, outsiders, which are things like angels and genies and whatnot, and undead. Um, and you have to replace a few existing cards, which is the most annoying part of it. That is the most annoying opinion. part. So, so for there example... Are, there are the, many different types the of bell, cards. The bell tower, this is the old bell tower. It used to be a land, but you have to replace it when that's now a building. Now there's a suit of buildings. So that got replaced. So this is this is the old stuff, right? That's right. the old stuff. Including what I have here in my hand? No. No, I, you just grabbed I, it off the top of the deck. The, only the just bell tower is old. I right. didn't give you those other cards. Right. I don't know where you got I those took from. these. So yeah, there are different... Uh, types of cards. You've got undead cards. You've got army cards. Well, you've got weather cards. You've got flood cards. Got, I mean, there's you about push them down a little bit. There's a sorry. There's about ten different, ten to twelve different card types that will key off of one another. Uh, there will be some that will score if you've got certain cards in play or certain people in play. Uh, there are some cards that will. Um, Clear penalty that will make penalties happen. What are they called? They blank other cards. Yeah, blanking means like you pretend the card is totally blank. If it's something like here's a card that blanks something. So if you have any leader cards in your hand at the end, if you pretend those cards are totally blank, like white, nothing on them is what it means. Correct. Which is probably bad. You probably don't probably want that. Probably bad. Happen. But could be good. And under rare yeah. circumstances. Well, especially if you want if you want to blank out something that gives bad penalties. There are also things that will clear penalties if you have them. So yes. that's nice. Um, and there are cards that do weird things like this one, for example. Like the Shapeshifter, um, which is wild. It pretty much can take uh, any of several different card types. I think there's yet another Shapeshifter that will take different like inanimate types. Mm. One will have animate well, types. There's, there's, inanimate. there's also a doppelganger which works a little differently. There's oh, cards yes. that get you extra cards. There's a bunch of weird things going on. So, um, basically, we will be giving each player a... And the base game says seven cards. If you're playing with the Cursed Horde expansion, that will increase to eight. Well, if you're, again, if you're playing with the module that adds more cards to the deck. Oh, okay. So it adds two element. Because there's more cards in the deck, you get eight cards instead of seven, and the game ends when you get the 12 cards discarded face 10. up instead of ten. Right. To account for the larger size of the deck and the streakiness thereof. Correct. Um... So, on someone's turn, uh, you have the choice of drawing the top card from the deck or drawing one from the discard area. Hey, guess what? When we start out, we've got no discard area. Um, so, it's just going to be blank. Let me move these over here underneath. There we go. How about like this? It's even better. And all the play areas up here. Um, 
And at the end of each turn, up someone has to the active player has to discard a card to the discard area. Uh, of course, uh, if I did, if I took one off the top of the deck, I'm basically counting down. I'm forcing the game. Yeah, in theory, we could take twelve turns and the game's over. Correct. Probably won't happen, but it could. Which is, I mean, what four a piece? I mean, that's really quick. in a three. Pl- well, again, if you played a six player game, people might not like that. But in the more players that are in the game, the more likely it is that somebody will discard something somebody else wants. Agreed. So it tends not to be like twelve turns boom, or in the base game ten turns boom. Although it could happen. Yep. So uh, each card has a base strength. We're gonna basically handle each card individually. It comes with these really. Uh, easy to follow scoring pads. There is also an app online that will help you score. The second edition game comes with a score pad that can accommodate the expansion because it has lines for the eighth card and for the cursed items, which count negative points. We haven't gone over those yet. Correct. Um, oh, for the uh, for the, uh, the cursed, cursed items. items. Yes. Yeah, yep. So uh, things like the dragon. He's worth thirty, but he's negative forty unless you pair him with a wizard. So uh, you want to make sure to. Address each of the penalties. Uh, or get rid of that card. But if I get rid of this dragon, I could potentially be giving Steph or Dan a nice dragon to go with their wizard that they have. And there are Sounds good. You know, lots of wizards. Any of the things that the pink sides are indeed wizards. So, um, uh, that is basically it. Uh, just keep going around the table until there are, in the base game... Ten cards in the discard pile with the Cursed Realms, Cursed, Cursed Horde uh, expansion. It increases to twelve. So, what does what is the other part of the Cursed Horde expansion? Well, we've got these cursed items. Uh, it's going to be worth minus six. This card here, minus seven. I believe we saw they go from like minus one to what was the biggest 30, one? Thirty minus thirty. Minus thirty. <laughs> so don't. Get stuck with it. So, uh, this has a big push your luck mechanic because you might want to take what's behind door number two. So, if I happen to have this hourglass as my card, um, I can keep it or... At, was at the start of the turn, Yeah. Dan? At the yep. start of the turn, I can trade this out. Yes, I think so. I can trade it out. And draw the next well, one just, off the just during, No, actually, just during it's, your turn. Just during your turn sometimes? During your turn, you can do nothing with it. You can discard it, or you can use it, and then you get a new one. If you discard it, you also get a new one. The difference being that you don't get the penalty from the old one if you just discard it. Right, so if you've wait, if you if you've gotten this, you turn it face down, you are definitely going to get that seven points. Negative seven. Negative seven points, yes. So make sure that yes. it is worth it. Make sure it's worth it. In order to do that. Yeah, so. it'll be fine. Don't worry about it's it. It's fine. Just it'll do it. Fine. Use it'll use 20 different curse cards. It's going to be great. Hey, Phil from Bad Board Game Covers. <laughs> he has some cool challenges on Instagram, so... Let um, me put this more face down. That way I can actually reach the cards that get put <laughs> out here. Sounds good. Yeah, because like now, they're, here's the bottom of my pack, so... That way Dan can reach them too. So let's go ahead and appreciate that, yes. shuffle these up. Go ahead and shuffle. I shuffled them and I dealt them. You did. Yeah, you did. we'll give you more, I guess. Oh, what you, happened to your hand? Uh, he just used I was it using it as, as a oh. demo. We'll give him a new hand. I guess. Yeah, I, I, I demo things on this channel. That's what. Yeah, I that's do. fine. Sorry. All right, there's your. There's your cursed horde stuff. All right, there's my curse. All right, mine is the gold mirror. What's that do? Uh, the gold mirror at any time put three cards from the discard area on the bottom of the wow, deck. Wow, that's pretty nice. And replace them with the top three oh, cards wow. of the deck. Oh, well, it's still, it's still <laughs> interesting. But minus eight. What's so, you, what you got? I have the rake, replace turn. Draw two cards from the discard area, then discard two cards. So if I see two things up there. That's instead of her turn. That's that's, that's, that replaces yeah. your it's turn. It's minus four points if I use it. Yes. The reason why I keep asking them is I have larcenous gloves. Oh, no! I can steal a face-up cursed item from somebody else and I have to use it immediately and they get a replacement from the deck. Wow. So... So you get the minus three minus eight. And I get the, the minus, minus... But if there's an item I really want... I then mean, he sure. gives them a lot of flexibility. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I want to make sure that... Uh, I want to see what kind of interactions that we ha- I have with yes. my cards. Um, so, yeah, we found a new way of choosing... Random player. <laughs> it's not that exciting, but go ahead. Well, it's not that exciting, but it's good that it works. Am I a little star you player? Can, you, 
Alexa, roll a D3. What did she, she say? She did not understand you, Dan. Well, then you tell her. Alexa. She never understood. Roll a D3. <laughs> Alexa, pause. I said exactly the same thing that Steph did earlier and it worked when she did. So she started playing music when... Alexa likes her better. No, it was just... Yeah, when he asked. Yeah. Alexa, roll a D3. All right. It worked on Scott's both times. Did not work on ours. <laughs> And it's probably going to work on his again. Dan, you get to go first. I'm going to be looking at my different uh, interactions here. Uh, that's great. I'm very happy for you. I know. I got a card. What do I want to do with that Kill card? It. I, nobody asked you. You're fine. Um, I think I do not want... That. Forge Fantastic. wants weapons and artifacts. It's a flame and wants weapons and artifacts. Turn it face up for everybody else. Okay. Um, weapons so and artifacts. Not not my jam. Okay. So I will draw a blind. Very good. It's terrible. Mm. Terrible. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, that could be bad, but I'm going to probably go with it. What's the worst that could happen? W lots of things. Um, maybe. maybe. I would draw the question. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. How about... So it's interesting to see how the, these cards interact with each other. And how you can score each card to the best of its capability. Yes. yes. Of course, you could get dealt a much better hand than somebody else. It's not a deep strategy game, but that's fine. It's very short. I'm going to put a that? Warlock Lord out there. Minus 10 for each leader and other wizard. He doesn't play well with I others. I don't like that. He doesn't play well with others. No. No. Especially if it's another wizard. I could maybe keep that, but I'm going to lose this outsider, which is pretty terrible. What's it do? For every non-outsider card, if that card is the only card you have in that suit, then that card is blanked. <laughs> this takes place before any other blanking. So, yeah, you, you want to you have everything a, else paired up. It's a 45-point card. Which is but difficult with eight difficult. cards in your hand. There are ways of getting a ninth card. And you can't get more than nine cards. There's only three or yeah, four. Yeah, but you could have, like, three I, of something. I'm noting the stream yeah 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 there's a rules element that you, you, <laughs> you there are although this expansion adds several ways to get an extra card you can't go beyond nine cards that's just the rule that's correct all right well i would like to take a discard so it's not to keep accelerating the game clock but you people keep discarding such terrible cards you people you people you people discard such terrible cards thank you We're here to help uh is that what you're here for yeah i had wondered it wasn't. It wasn't immediately apparent. Yeah. <laughs> just, just saying. I can go for a demon. And the game, the the game How is immediately at the twelfth discard. So time yourselves appropriately. Sure. Uh, how about this king? You know, like this king? It's a, mm. it's pretty good if you've got five a lot for of each army, twenty for each army. If yeah, if uh, queen, yeah, I guess maybe. Sure. Uh, slap, slap a dislike. No. No. <laughs> I need a new curse card. Mm. Is that well, what you need? You forced me into it. Forced you into what? To taking this thing. I didn't. Apparently you did. Nope. Maybe I did it then. Yep. Maybe you okay. did it. Perhaps. Maybe you did it. Perhaps I did. Uh. Oh, crap nuggets. What have you guys done? No. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. Do, 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 Are you do, sure? Do, do. Nope. It probably was you. Probably was you. It sounds like you. I'm going to get rid of this army. Yeah, who needs that, man? Jeez. Is the king so right there? Me. I'm going to try and discard this for this. Good luck. Good luck to you. 
crystal lens. What does that do? At any time, you may peek at the top card of the deck before deciding whether to draw from which location. That's nice. I will... Uh, no, by the way, it says any time means any time in your turn, not any time. Right. Uh, what's this? What's this? This is... This is not good, so maybe somebody else wants it. Maybe. It's a great flood. Blanks all armies, all buildings, all lands except mountain, and all flames except lightning. Now remember, when things are blank, not only are the uh, words in in the card blanked out, like, for instance, if this happened to be blanked, not only does it blank out this, it blanks out the name, and the points, and the card type. Mm -hmm. Everything is blanked. It's, Terrible. It's pretty blank. It's pretty blank. It's pretty blank <laughs> is what we're saying. It's pretty, that is, it's pretty darn it's blank. It's blankety blank, That's blank, blank, blank. fairly it, What yes. does this thing do again? You know what? I'm going to steal your gloves. Wow. Or your mirror. Right? I'm still using the gloves to steal your mirror. What? You get a new, get a new item from the top of the No. <laughs> uh, I don't want it. You see two uh, things you like out there? No, no. I'm putting three things on the bottom. Oh, three things on the this bottom. This is worth oh, 25 no. points <laughs> if I have at least three it. other cursed items face down. No. I'm going to get rid of that. That's crap. Yeah. Well, right. that's good for Dan. I don't Dang. blame you. Well, that's why I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Demon is so bad. Maybe, uh, yeah. Maybe if one you had, of these will be friends. If with you me. had kept it, I would have probably Tried taken it, for it at some point. Yeah. All right. Maybe one of these. Will I be wasn't friends ready with me. for it at the time. All of wow. Got two so, flames, two wizards, two floods. <laughs> that would be really awesome if I were actually if I were actually looking for any of that. That would be kind of awesome. I'm not really Hello, particularly looking for that. But it, 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 it. I will take I'm the necromancer. The I will necromance a little bit. Wow. As it were, that that's a verb now. In case necromance a little bit. What's that? A little bit of wild Oh, and I, I get a new curse that I don't have. Seems really one. bad. It blanks all cards. I get the except... sealed vault. Anytime I can cover two cards in the discard area with this card, they still count towards the end of the game. And give bonuses to undead, but nobody else can take them, and they're immune to the shovel and the gold mirror. What is what? Who, who I can can't seal. Take them? I could do this, for example, and then nobody but me can take them. Oh. And they, but they still count at the end of the game. Like undead cards often count points for cards that are in the discard pile because they're dead. See, sort of, sort of. Oh, they dead. still count towards those undead. I guess they still do count towards those undead. That is a correct statement. Not loving that. I'm not. Loving that, though, for real. Maybe somebody else wants it. With the Book of Changes, the Bell Tower, and any one wizard. Yeah, you, you Bell Book and Candle, get it's it. It's really hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Especially in a three-player game. It, if you have Doppelganger or something, it's easier because you can make it be one of those. Or cards. Wild, yeah. What is that? I have a wishing ring. I look at the deck and place <laughs> any card I want on top. I may do that immediately before I draw. But it's negative 30. Minus 30. <laughs> so there's a downside. A yeah. Little, there's a little bit of a downside. Wow. Minus 30. There's a little bit of a downside. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. That's all I'm saying. It's a little bit. I like this game. I think it's a really good game. It's fine. I like pushing my luck. Yeah. No kidding. That is That is the good thing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Tell five, six, seven, eight. something I don't seven, know. Eight. Uh, I am going to. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna. Are I you think real gonna, sure? Not the swamp. I'm gonna take the swamp. Mm. Sounds gross. Probably. And I am going to get rid of this queen. Oh, who is the king? You? No, he put it. At the no, he put it at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Nobody. I don't like any of this. So hey. 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 Hey there. Oh. Hello. Um, I think it's just better if I do this. Psh. Warlord. Warlord. Bonus, the sum of the base strength of all armies. And that's obviously all your armies, not all armies yeah, ever. Yeah, nothing affects other people's cards or it scores off them. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this item because I, well... Minus four could be worse, but M Michael got the worst. However, so. I am... I'm Sucking wind uphill on this, on my card. So I need something to help. 
Backpack. Anytime I can draw three cursed items. All right, I, I can just prep my next three cursed items. That's really weak. I hate it. I had that last game, and it was it was bad. They just keep it up for minus two. Sure. Checking, 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 checking. Checker, checker, Operating. Checking, checking, checking. Unicorn. Unicorn. Plus 30 with Princess or fifth, plus 15 with Empress, Queen, or Enchantress. The queen is I mean, sitting that's there. It's two turns to pick. I mean, you know. Two turns to do it. You can have a you tasty unicorn if you want. They're good barbecue. <laughs> sure. <laughs> good barbecue. They are. Why would I lie? Why would I lie about a thing like that? Huh. I'm going to have a very low score. I don't care for it. Yeah, I'm, do, I'm do not, not, I'm do not, not having... Want, do not want. I'm not having good ones. I don't know if I'm going to get two turns or not. <gasps> you might. Oh, he took the one that's like... A hundred if he has all the stuff. If I've got all of it, but I don't know if I've got all of it. I don't know. That is the question. Now, which of these do I want to get rid of? Hey, time roller. That's Hello, time, time roller. Well, if you guys... No, I can't I can't do that. Can't you? No. Okay. I can't do it. Okay. Give me something good. Do... I am getting rid of this lich. What's a lich? Plus 10 for necromancer and each other undead like undead cannot be blanked. I'll take a this. You'll take a that unicorn? Yeah, it's better than this weather card. I'll Plus give you 15 that. for each other weather. I'll Hi, take, time ruler. I'll take the I lich. know she said it, but I have not said it. And I What did you take? The lich. The lich. The lich. Oh, you want the you want the undead stuff. Mm. Maybe I do it, maybe I don't. I definitely don't. I'll Cause... discard these elven archers. What's this? It's a army. They're elven archers. Plus five with no weather. Mm. They're like elves with bows. Sure. But that's not important right now. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that was a really good call on my part. It's like I know what I'm doing. What do you mean a really good call on your part? I didn't realize how good that unicorn was. She's praising herself again. Thank I am. It. Pat myself on that back. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Steph is so awesome. I am so awesome. Reshuffle the deck at the end of your turn. Well, uh, all I have to do is discard. Okay. What about Dan? What? What oh. about Dan? What about Dan? T-Mon didn't say oh, hi did. to Dan. Oh. It's all right. Uh, I'm not offended. <laughs> all right. I do need to, need to discard something. Um, they don't shuffle well because the cards are, like, not exactly... They're a little tough. They're, yes. they're not cut perfectly. Life is like that. Life is like Life that. Life is very much like that. Could sleeve it, I guess. Could, could. Mm. Seems like a lot of work. Got to keep that. I got to keep that. There are certain cards I have to keep for lots of reasons. I could see this being a go-to filler game, though. One of those, perhaps. One of those, perhaps. Perhaps. Just gotta... One of those with one of those. Do I get a new one at the end of my turn? I yeah, think is how that will. works. You get one as soon as you play it. Yeah, you get it right now. Uh, I get it right. But I don't think I think you can only turn. No, it. yeah, sorry, you're right. At the end of your turn. Yeah. At the end, end of, of my turn, I apologize I will. for the error. I so I might not get another turn. If I if they have anything to say about it, I will not get another turn. You've not discarded the card yet. I've, he has I have not. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I, I took one from here. Yeah. And I am in the uncomfortable position of having to discard. I don't think there's any way you can't have another something. turn. So. No, that I'm ten. He, you're. Oh, you could be eleven. Oh, oh. He could be twelve, and then I then did you're the twelve. Done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's quite possible. So this will actually. The best way to do it is discard something good, like an undead. <laughs> 
pretty good. It's that's pretty probably good. something Dan might that's want. That's probably something Dan might good want. Good luck with your Fantasy it's, Realms cursed item. It doesn't score very much currently. Thank you. I'll take this cursed item here. Minus one. Oh, you're lucky. Look at another player's hand. This... This item's base value is minus 10 in a two-player game. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we're not playing two players. That's all, all I right, got to so say. All right, so it's me. Yeah. Wee wee. All right, here we go. Here we go. Does she have to wee wee? Wee wee. I don't know. Oh, that's probably better, I guess. No thanks. Just have to powder my nose. Oh, that's actually better than that. <laughs> ah, right, yeah, sure. Let's go with it. How about this water elemental? Plus 15 for flood. I will take the specter. I will discard the collector. Right. Specter? Specter collector. Plus 10 if three different cards in the same. Oh, that's that thing. Plus 100 if you have five different cards in the same suit. So that would be nice. However, that was five, six, nice, seven. But probably not. Uh, five, six, I think I'm going to have to end it. Rude. Because there's nothing here I want. You guys did not give me. Anything worth keeping? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I know. You're oh gosh. Broken up over it. I'm so sorry. I do apologize, sir. Mm. Uh, there is no way I'm keeping a basilisk. So, fine. Yeah, it's no, it's no unicorn. All right. It's no unicorn. <laughs> Are you scoring this or am I scoring this? All right, I had. This is the end of the game. Therefore, I'm going to play the leprechaun. Uh, there's an order. This in these resolves things. before the genie. So, what about with the necromancer? There's an order. These I things don't know. operate. Show me the order. All right, so there is an order. The new endgame sequence. All right, first the Leprechaun, then the Genie, and then the Necromancer. All right. So. Then you assign Doppelganger, Mirage, and Shapeshifter. Then use the Book of Changes. Then clear penalties. Then Demon blanks things. Then apply on... Yeah, anyway, it's... it's yes. It's, it gets complicated with the expansion. So, yes, use your Leprechaun, sir. I am going to use this Leprechaun to let me draw a card. Hopefully, it's going to be beneficial. It might not be. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, it's a doppelganger. <gasps> so. <laughs> well, that's lucky. That's so good. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> All right. Um, what do I want? But not, oh, it doesn't do the bonus. Yeah, correct. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. well, you got what you got. I get to no, use the next I just wanted to know what it was. I can take an army leader, wizard, beast, or undead from the discard area and add it. There's no undead in the discard area, are there? Uh, no, no. I, the one I put down, you snatched up. I well, don't like that. So, I don't want a leader. I don't really want a wizard. I already discarded one of these wizards. Um, there's no one dead. Is The only beast is the basilisk. And it blanks other beasts and armies and leaders. Well, as it happens, I don't have any of those cards. That seems... Yeah. So, I'll definitely take a 35-point card. That seems good. Must be nice. All right, so well, we score on the score sheet. You don't have to do it on your Correct. Head. So yeah, are you so doing it or am I doing it? You're doing it. Give me a pen. Or a pencil. I'm not picky. It's too late. All right, so... Uh, give me a base... Somebody do this. Give me a base value and then the bonus value. All right. Or, or bonus slash penalty. Uh, Steph, go ahead and go first because I've got something that interacts with other things and I like I change suits and I want to... All right, so something to go first. All right, my first card is zero and zero. That totals to zero. Thanks. My <laughs> second card is four and 40. Totaling 44. My third card is the <coughs> Empress 15 plus 20. Is 35. Yep. My fourth card is... It is 13. And, and? Nothing. And zero is 13. Yes, very good. Sure. Uh, and then I'll just do 15 and zero. Okay. And then I'll do nine and 15. Nine and 15 is 24. Yes. And then 11 with the bonus of 22. 33. For the garden. And the X, that's not what... Okay, and then the castle is 10 and 10, 20, 30. So 30. Nice, 10 and 30. All okay. right, nice uh, cursed item points. Minus two. Wow, wow. Okay, so Steph has zero. 44 plus 35 is 79. Plus 13 is 92. Plus 15 is 107. Plus 24 is 131. 
uh, plus 33 is 164, plus 40 is 204, minus 2 is 202. Acceptable! 202! Okay, Michael. Uh, as expected, I did end up with the Book of Changes, the Bell Tower, and a Wizard. That's nice. Book of Changes, wow, Bell you're Tower, so lucky. and Wizard. Nobody can actually for, see that. For... <laughs> Uh, we are going to need to know uh, I am gonna, certain I am things. I need to know that for sure. Yes. This stuff? I yes. Have th- I have three undead cards. They yes. score off of those things. Oh, okay. So, Candle with these three things right. is 102. Two, two plus 100. That seems good. You um, didn't even need the doppelganger or anything for that. I did not. Wait, so, why was one of those the Beastmaster? Wasn't. One of the, the cards wizard? you just put out. Any one wizard? Oh, any one wizard. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Would you like the one wizard? That's a one wizard. Sure, it's a yes. Great. All right, uh, um, give me another card. How about the dragon 30 Just and 30, zero? 30 and zero is 30. That's correct, because I do have the wizard, that beast master that you saw. Yes. Um, I'll just go ahead and put these yeah, yeah. Is this wise. Then um, take them away so I'm not confused when I score, please. I was, I was moving yeah. them, because yeah. I will need to reference them. Yeah, yeah one fine, more time. fine, fine. Yeah, I, will, I won't, That's I won't let you score again. Uh, Hydra is 12 and 28, because I do have a swamp. Okay. That's why you took it. That's why I took it. All right, carry on. Um, carry on. Uh, eighteen for a a swamp minus three for each army and flame. I do have a flame, however, I will not be losing points for it. So eighteen. Okay. And zero. You have something in blanks panel that penalty. Uh, I do. I have something that will change this flame to a beast. Okay. Its name, bonuses, and penalties remain the same. All right. Very good. Um, but that That's card three. that card has to score. It so. it's a three. Three and zero is three. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. Very good. And that is an additional card, so because I do get nine. I don't know where you want There to is no that. place to put the ninth on the sheet, so, but it won't fit it in the eighth box. It's a little annoying they didn't do that. Um, if you want, you can just doppelganger my dragon and make it a 60. No. <laughs> no. It's 30. 30 and zero. Yes. I mean, yeah, they, they do say you can score nine cards. Yeah, um, but not more could, than, could I think. You, could you doppelganger the flame? For a hundred points, uh, I can't do the bonus, oh, but oh, not. Oh, bu- oh. It says, but not bonus. Right, gotcha. Right. So I'm putting this here because it is now a beast. Yeah. Uh, the flame is okay. So I've already technically done the leprechaun. So uh, the book of changes has made this flame the beast. Right. right? Yes. So I've got four beasts here right now. Yes. All right. Would have been nice to have that collector, but. I didn't know about it until late. So I do have a Beastmaster, which yeah. gets plus nine for each beast. So that's nine plus 36. And clears the penalty on Beast, which I don't care. Fine, yes. That, yeah. Um, eight for the Bell Tower, plus 15 with the Wizard. Eight and 15. All right. Uh, and last but not least, the 20-point Leprechaun, which I drew the card for. All right. And Cursed Items. Totally. 31. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is Woo. that. All right, so 102 plus 30 is 132. Plus 40 is 172. Plus 18 is 190. Plus 3 is 193. Plus 30 is 223. Plus uh, 45 is uh, 268. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> she uh, called for you. Plus 23 is 291. <laughs> plus 20 is 311. Minus 31 is uh, 280. 280. Destroyed my face! All right, well, let's Yeah, but here comes Dan. No, I don't think I'm going to beat that score. But we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's start with the Basilisk, which is just 35. I will arrange them up here for people to see. Uh, 35. 35 and 0, 35. Correct. All right. Um, Let me keep track. Necromancer is just three because I already I used to take the basilisk. That's its main ability. Um, Earth good. Earth elemental. That's very boring. Is just the thing I couldn't get rid of. So yeah, I'm not going to beat your score. I don't think. Too many little ones. Um, Yeah, third. That does get a five penalty for the basilisk, but it was still worth taking. So absolutely worth thirty and minus five is twenty five. Um, the. Judge is 10 for everything that has a penalty that isn't cleared. There is, I have one other card I haven't shown you that has a penalty. So that's one, one two, two, three. So 11, 11 plus and 30. 11 and 30 is 41. Um, 
The this never get complicated. Um, the specter is twelve. Hey, cold-hearted senpai. Six hey. for each wizard artifact and outsider in the discard area. So I think there's just two wizards, and that's it. Unfortunately, I had him. Yeah, I wanted to. So I wanted. It I wasn't was great. wanting to use your yeah, yeah. the the my thing that you stole. All right. To pull three yeah. things out and put and out And the more Dark others. Queen is ten, and then five for each Land Flood, Flame Weather, and Unicorn in the discard area. So that's one, two, a lot. three, four, five, six. So that's a 30-point bonus. That's really nice. It's all right. <laughs> that's these two undead. Uh, a Lich uh, is 13, and, and then you've got one, two, three bonuses... Okay. So that's 30. For each unde each other undead, undead and, and the necromancer. necromancer. Because and he's super The crypt undead. is 21 plus the bonus is the sum of the base, th base strength of all the other undead, which is 35. Nice. Whatever. Know. You have some big ones. Hey, so Senpai. That's, that is uh, 56 for that card. Then my negative items are a lot. A, lot. a fair amount. Not as many. 13. Negative 13. Negative 13. That's my number. Oh my All goodness. Right. As Dan adds that up, how are you guys doing? 35. What were you three playing, Senpai? Plus or 3 is doing. 42. <laughs> Plus 25 is 69, uh, 67. Uh, plus 41 is 108. Uh, plus 24 is 132. Plus 40 is 172. Uh, plus 43 is 215. Uh, 216? 216, thank you. 216 plus 56 is Dang 272 it. minus 13 is 259. That was a good run. I'm a huge loser, guys. So Michael wins, but not by as much as I was expecting. Man. Well, thank you for that rage. That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't, yeah, absolutely. I don't know it takes two, but I appreciate you stopping by today. We just finished a game of Fantasy Realms, which I got slaughtered in. Hey, yeah, Jet I Random thought I did followed so us. That's great. Good. Well, again, it's there's a quite a bit of luck in the game because your initial deal, like so, for example, when we played without the expansion the other day, I got a score nearly as good as Michael's score in this game, and without all the extra stuff and not the extra eight, nine, the eighth card, I got two seventy one because I happened to get the card that could score one hundred fifty point bonus for a run of cards in sequence, and I managed to get the whole thing. But I got dealt a fair number of those to begin with. So it's like, well, you know, there's a lot of luck. But it's it's like a 15-minute game. So so right. what is my approach? Yeah, it's, it's like, pretty fast. Yeah, I had... That. Longer I had, to add it up. <laughs> I had two of those three items mm -hmm. of the of the right, three set. So. But that is not enough to totally win you the game. Because no, it's not. I, it's, it's of the hundred... 30 of it was eaten by one that by that cursed item. Right. And, and if I had gotten... If I had picked if up the either right, of you had picked up one of them... Or if I had just picked I up the right other card, like right. if I'd been able to place that Earth Elemental with another Undead or something, I could have easily won. Right. Yeah, it was reasonably close. Someone could but, have grabbed that collector that, you know, hey, it's worth 10 if you've got 3 right. or something. It's got... It's 40 yeah. if you've got 4 you, something. You can't take, it's a bunch you, for 5. You can't take the game seriously. It's just fun, to see, it's just fun to see the combos. It's a 10, 15 minute game played properly. Um, you know, if I, I liked Red Rising, if I need to Red Rising, it would be like, well, it's got a lot of luck like this and it also takes a lot longer because there's a lot more stuff going on. Um, which is not to say that I disliked it. I enjoyed it and would play it again. Just like this. I really like it. Even though I lost horribly. <laughs> yeah. I, but, I think it's Keeper. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. You, this this hits exactly where it wants to in the yeah. terms of you know the length versus the randomness and complexity yeah. and whatnot. So if yeah. you haven't played Fantasy Realms, uh, it's a really good chance to because it's been a recent reprint from WizKids. Yes. Um, and if you don't like adding lots of numbers, there is a scoring app. You just put in the name of the... You, you find the name of the card each player. So you say, okay, Steph has the collector and the this is and the that's this and it'll add up the points for you. That's true. I don't know if it supports the expansion, but probably at this point. Yeah. Good check. Yeah, check it out. Right, we'll, we'll talk to you about the camera here in a second, Senpai. One sec. But we're we'll gonna, be right back. We're going to cut and we'll be right back. 